All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a very interesting little piece of kit here, the Anton Parr Digital Density Meter. What exactly is it, what does it do, and why would I be telling you about it? All of those questions will be answered in this video, so just keep watching. In one sentence, this is a rocket science level hydrometer. Um, this thing is seriously impressive. Is this something that you need to produce quality beer? Absolutely not. This is 100% a want and not a need for 99.9% .9 of people out there, unless you're a lab grade brewer. That being said, it is an extremely interesting product and I think it has a lot to offer. So really quickly, full disclosures, Anton Parr sent this to me for the purposes of reviewing and uh, that is my intention here in this video. I'm not gonna tell you to buy it. I'm not gonna tell you not to buy it. That decision is up to you. As always with my review videos, I neither accepted financial compensation for this review video, nor was I given anything to say or you know, restricted from saying anything otherwise. So who exactly is Anton Parr, first of all? Anton Parr is an Austrian lab equipment manufacturer that does a lot of business actually making high precision lab equipment for things like hospitals and chemistry labs, especially is in density measurement, and that is what this does. And if you're not already aware, when you're measuring specific gravity of a liquid, that is actually a form of density. Unfortunately, because of that, this is not exactly a cheap piece of equipment. It is a $350 hydrometer, which is a huge amount of money for what it does. But I think a lot of that cost is coming from the lab grade precision levels that they have in this piece of equipment. And it is not an exaggeration, lab grade precision. You can use it at any temperature in any kind of alcohol before and after fermentation with exactly the same level of precision. You don't need to make temperature corrections like you would with a hydrometer. You don't need to worry about post versus pre-fermentation like you would with a refractometer. And you're not gonna have the uh, weird calibration issues you have with a tilt. This, you calibrate once with distilled water and after that you are good to go. It does everything else for you. It also comes with an app which you set up on your phone to have a Bluetooth connection with the device. Um, and it makes it super easy to measure your specific gravity no matter what step of the brewing process you're in. That app also has a lot of cool features which I'll go over in a bit. The device comes in a really nice box actually. There's multiple parts. So here is the actual footprint of the meter, it's it's super tiny and uh, really nice and easy uh, to just kind of store away in a corner. And then also in here, you have all the rest of the components, which are actually very nicely packaged. So the syringe is included and the tubing is included. There's also a booklet here, instructions if you need those. So to start, you gotta get the smartphone app downloaded first, uh, but once you do, you'll be presented with this screen here. So then make sure that the Easy Dance is on here. You'll see it flashing, and then hit that connect button, and it should find it for you. So the first thing to do when you get your Easy Dance is just to make sure that you uh, know where the calibration point is. So get some distilled water and fill up a small glass with distilled water, and you're gonna push it through the Easy Dance and take a measurement. it should, if it's properly calibrated, be at 1.000 specific gravity. If it's not, you'll have to refer to the instruction manual for a more detailed calibration procedure, but it's really not all that difficult. All you have to do to clean this thing is that. You take distilled water and push it through a couple times and it's clean. Okay, so now we'll talk about the more interesting part of this, which is what you're gonna actually be using it for, which is measuring the specific gravity of all kinds of fermenting liquids. Now this is very easily done in the boil or in the mash, whatever you want because of the temperature correction, but uh, you can also do this post fermentation with a carbonated uh, beverage, but you do need to make sure you pull that carbonation out first. So here I have some of my own beer here uh, that as you can see is carbonated. What I'm gonna do now is show you how to remove the CO2 from it. What you need to do is pull up half of the actual uh, syringe's volume. Then you wanna place your finger over the end of it here and pull back. And that's gonna create a vacuum inside the syringe which is going to pull that CO2 out of solution. At this point you can then let go and that'll let some of the CO2 escape. Now, you're gonna to wanna to do this several times uh, until you can't see bubbles coming out really all that much anymore. So now, you hook it up to this meter here and hit the restart button. 
there you go. There's a final gravity, and that's on a decarbonated beer. It is really that easy. It doesn't matter what temperature it is. As long as it doesn't have carbonation in it, it's going to deliver uh, the correct reading every time. Now, of course, you can also just shake the crap out of your sample and get all, as much uh, carbonation out as you can. Um, that'll work as well. Uh, but I just prefer the syringe method a little bit myself. So I really want to talk about the app a little bit here. It's pretty cool what you can do with it. So first of all, you could track individual batches. So if you want to take like a pre-boil, an original gravity, a mid-fermentation, a post-fermentation gravity, you can keep track of all that stuff here. And then you can also add individual beers, add notes on them and, and that sort of thing. Keep track via dates and things. It also gives you a chart here where you can see the progress of your things like ABV and your specific gravity, and just how those things relate to one another. But, you know, it gives you an idea of kind of like what your attenuation is and just all of these really cool features. You can also save these files and export them later if you want to use them in a different program or just send them to yourself, email them, whatever that sort of thing you want to do there. There's a few other things here. You can do different measurement modes. So Quick is going to give you an immediate measurement when you uh, push through the device. Uh, the first time it senses that it has a stable measurement, it's going to set it out on Quick. Continuous is going to keep taking updated measurements and it's going to give you um it, you might see the the measurement change over time if that's the case um but basically it's just always going to be looking for a measurement you also have the ability to go in all of these different measurement units which is amazing so you have play-doh for your professional brewers bricks for sugar you can also measure alcohol directly in your sample instead of using specific gravity um you have a couple different specific gravity formulas here and then you have um, an actual like density measurement itself. You have plenty of options for different calculation formulas of specific gravity and uh, alcohol by volume. So here's your Bluetooth name, your Bluetooth connection stuff. It also gives you kind of an update on yeah what your battery status is. Uh, you can name the device a different thing if you want to. Plenty of other stuff here. There's also a couple other external things here. Um, if you happen to lose the instruction manual, you can get all your FAQs and stuff there. Um, it's really pretty straightforward and simple, but it is a solid piece of uh, brewing hardware and software. It also worked right out of the box with spirits and uh, distilled liquors as well as wine. So no matter what you're working on and what you're fermenting, it's going to work really well in any of those cases. So now that you've seen it in action, I'll talk about some of the positives and negatives, um, and we'll go from there. Positives on it, lab grade precision, you can't beat that. The ridiculously small amount of wort that you have to use, or beer, that's a smaller amount of wort than a hydrometer, but not as small as a refractometer. The absolutely ridiculous ease of cleaning this thing with just the distilled water. The automatic temperature compensation is a huge deal, which is very, very convenient for me. The ability of the app to do all your calculations for you and show you your percent ABV, and also just to be able to measure in different modes of specific gravity, not just specific gravity points or bricks, which is really nice. Also, I really like the fact that the app can track things over time and you can build kind of a profile for a specific beer. I also like the fact that it came with its own syringe, its own stuff. It doesn't require you to go out and buy extra crap to make this thing function, which is awesome. It has such a ridiculously tiny footprint for such a great piece of equipment as well. And also, I like the fact you can use it for distillation and wine as well as just beer. And lastly, it's just a professional piece of equipment to have in your home brewery. And uh, that's, that's a positive, it is. It's expensive, but it's a positive. And now for the negatives. The price, this thing is ridiculously expensive. $350 is not really in every home brewer's budget. And the only reason I have this is because they sent it to me. I didn't have to pay the $350. The ratio of price to benefit isn't all that great, uh, but I do understand that they are A, a foreign company, and B, uh, sending something that is essentially lab grade equipment. So it, it's not, I get it, you know, but it's it's an expensive piece of equipment and that is not something that I think is really equally weighted with the other cons. The other thing is this is fragile. There's a lot of people out there, I've read stories about dropping these off the counter and shattering them. So if you do decide to own one of these things, just take good care of it. It is precision equipment. It's not meant to be beat up and thrown around uh, like some other pieces of Humbery equipment. So just be careful with that. The third negative on this one is it just it's tied to a smartphone. If you don't have a smartphone, you don't have a Bluetooth device, there's no way to use this. So if Anton Parr is listening to this video, it would be really cool to see what improvement made on this. Uh, and that is the inclusion of a digital readout for your actual measurement on the device itself. That would be huge uh, because then you don't need to worry about the smartphone app being paired to it. The smartphone app is a huge user experience boost, um, but I don't think it's necessary for the function of the product. 
and I think it would be cool just to have that all integrated into a single part of the unit. So overall, it's obviously a very impressive piece of equipment. I love it, and it's a fantastic piece of equipment to have, but I don't really see a lot of home groovers getting it at the price point that it's at. Um, I could understand it being incredibly useful for a professional brewer uh, and for someone who is extremely concerned with precision uh, and consistency in brewing the same beer over and over. Uh, but for a home brewer, it's a really nice thing to have. It's a really great addition and a tool, but I don't know how much value it, it has uh, for your average home brewer. Um, for your high-end person, for your person who's really concerned with convenience and has a lot of disposable income, this might be a great option for you. But if you're not really in that camp, which I don't think most home brewers are, then it's probably a little bit of a stretch. But it is a phenomenal product. It is a well-made piece of lab-grade precision you can have inside of your own home brewery, and that is pretty cool. Um, and it gives you a lot of capability. This is definitely my primary method now for measuring specific gravity in anything that I'm fermenting, anything that I'm brewing. Uh, it's just too easy to use, and it, I just like having that peace of mind that I don't need to do calculations and corrections for temperature or for fermentation. It just makes it much easier. It's all calibrated right out of the box, and just gets the job done perfectly every time. It's definitely a really cool product and I think it's definitely worth putting on people's radar and letting them know about it uh, for sure at the very least. If you enjoyed the video, if you learned something, please hit the like button, hit that subscribe button as well. If you want to support the channel, there's a number of ways to do so. First of all, I recommend getting t-shirts like this one. This is a new one. Um, also, you can find that down below the description box. I also have a channel membership. I also have a Patreon. There's also an Amazon store down in the description box where you can find all of the recommended pieces of equipment that I have and I have used that are available on Amazon. This is going to be on that store now too. So if you want to buy it from Amazon, that's a great place to go. I'm also available on Instagram as the apartment brewer where you could find slightly more frequent content updates about what I'm working on. Uh, so check that stuff out as well if you're into Instagram. Anyway, guys, I really do appreciate you sticking around at the end of the video. It does mean a lot to me and I really appreciate it. So until the next one, cheers.